So right here, this is a great area. This is called the collections area. And the collections area is designed to allow you to tag um, certain things that you might want to uh, use later on in your productions. And the cool thing is it's very customizable. As you can see here, if you're, if you're brand new to Ableton, you just downloaded Ableton, it might not quite look like mine, okay? So if I click on this edit section here, here is where I can actually design uh, what I want my collections folders to be called. Now, the main reason why mine look this way is because, like I said, I, I, I have way too many sounds. And I think over time, you might, it's a blessing and a curse, really. But basically, if you look at my plugins folder, I have way too many plugins, <laughs> okay? Way too many. And over time, I might find certain plugins that I really love, that I find myself using a lot they would end up in this exclusive VSTs collection folder, okay? And if you're wondering, well, how did I rename these? How did I, you know, colorize them? Like, how did I come up with these names? So if you just right click on your mouse, okay, or control click, you can actually rename uh, these collections panels, whatever you'd like them to be. So my personally, I have one called my later folder. My later folder is for when I'm working on a song and maybe I'm looking for a certain kick drum or a certain snare hit and I'm scrolling through some other sounds that aren't snare hits and I think they're really cool that might not be appropriate for the current project I'm working on, I will end up putting them into my later folder. So I'm like, oh, these are cool sounds, but I don't need these right now. They're going in my later folder. So this is like my temp folder. Maybe I discovered a new VST, but I don't have time to look at it right now, but I don't want to forget about it. I put it in my later folder, all right? And uh, my VSTs, this is my all my currently, my favorite third-party VSTs that I, I find myself using a lot. Uh, my favorite effects, okay? Third-party effects that I find myself using a lot. UAD, these are just uh, plugins that I use with my uh, Apollo Twin X um, that came stock with the uh, interface that I use. And then mixing tools, again, these are exclusively for um, when I'm actually mixing and mastering a song. These are the mixing tools that I turn to and I find myself using the most. All right. Packs, these are some of my favorite packs that I've discovered from actually Ableton, uh, exclusively in Ableton, and I'll show you a moment why I have this um, dedicated folder for packs because it, for any of you who uh, got has gotten the full working version of Ableton, the full suite, they give you a lot of packs. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of awesome things in here. It can be overwhelming at first, but what I recommend is maybe if you discover a pack that you really like, um, go ahead and, and, and give it a nice little check mark and you can um, check this out later. So I'll give a demonstration on that. Let's say if I go to the packs here and I find this pack like uh, this convolution reverb, I find myself really liking. All I have to do is right click on it and then I can say, okay, let's add it to my, my packs right here. Click on it like this. It'll give it a nice little purple check mark or a little box, a little square, and then go back to my packs. And then you will see that um, in, in here in my, in my packs unit or my packs collections folder. And then down here, I have my Max, some of my favorite free downloaded uh, 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 Max for live um, audio effects or instruments or MIDI effects that I found over time that I like, and also from the Max, um, the Max third-party software company um, run by Cycling74. Uh, and I'll explain what Max is in a moment. Okay, so collections area is just a great way to tag some of your favorite drum kits, your favorite sounds, your favorite um, vocals, you name it. Basically, it's just a, a great way to narrow down your scope of all the infinite possibilities that you, that you have at your disposal, that you have at your fingertips.